Hey guys, what's up? We are back with another video. So, late last night, me and Chris, we took off the stock exhaust. That thing is super heavy. So tonight, uh, we're actually going to put on the new exhaust, and I went with Amazon Special. So, a lot of people are going to hate that. I know a lot of the forums and Facebook groups, a lot of people talk shit about it. Oh, uh, you, you need to spend a thousand dollars. On an exhaust. I will say, if I had the money to do that, I would. But for right now, this is what's gonna work. And it sounds good. So um, I bought these. I, I bought these before. A few of them for other bikes. I've got the sticker right here from some of the other ones. And you'll have people talk crap about them and say how they don't last. They fade because it's, it's got like a faux carbon fiber look to it. I never had that happen. It never fell apart. The welds stayed intact, no issues at all, no leaks. It was a solid exhaust for a fraction of the cost. Yes, there's gonna be some slight tone differences to it, but uh, other than that, you're not really going to be able to, you're really not gonna be able to tell the difference, so. But I'm just gonna go ahead and open this up anyway. We're not gonna install it right now because it's super hot out here. It's about 96 with a high heat index, so we've got a high heat warning right now. Get rid of that crap. I'm not gonna go through an extensive install video. We're just gonna slap it on. Um, there are several videos online that show how to install these. I will film the process. Um, you got this cool little hook for pulling uh, springs on for the muffler onto the exhaust pipes. you got a mount in here, so I'm not gonna get all this stuff out. A couple of different things. We've got one spring right here. I better have the other one, that's all I know. Yep, it's right here. So we've got both springs and they look like they're small ones, so that tells me um, both are going to fit really snug, which is really cool, considering um, a lot of people that buy these in the past I've gotten one long one and one short one. So these are both the same size, so we're not gonna have any issues. Got all the hardware in there, I would assume. Yeah, we've got another little exhaust sticker. I'm not gonna put it on there though. Oh yeah, so they've got two other springs in here. So that's sweet, you get two small springs and you get two large springs. I don't know why, but they do come in handy. So we'll make it fit, make it work. I've seen people, I don't know if they know this or not, but I've seen people in their reviews they assume that it's painted white. Um, it's, it's not painted white. It's just to protect the chrome look. See? So always make sure you take that off. Um, so that looks 10 times better. I mean, the quality for what you pay for, just under $200. It's heavy, it's hefty, and there's your baffle. You can take it out. When you take this out, if you want it all the way out, sounds really damn good but it has another option where there's a cap at the end of it. You can see it in there at the bottom. You can actually take that off. So it actually has a pass through, but it's still a little bit muffled. So it's a, it's a step up in the, the sound, or you can leave it in there as it is now, which is, which is going to be the quietest. And again, you can take that cap off at the end down there by taking this whole piece out and leaving this in makes it a little bit louder, or you can take the whole thing out and obviously it's at its loudest. So yeah, tonight, when it cools off, it's gonna be a little late. We're gonna slap this bad boy on and do some uh, tests to see what it sounds like. And hopefully my GoPro batteries will be charged by then. So yeah, see you guys in a bit. Damn, bro, your legs fucked up. All right, so we're gonna try to uh, get this on. So I actually got the header on. Um, initially, it feels like it's not going to fit because it's the gap in between the two exhaust pipes is a little short, but it, it has some wiggle room. There's some expansion slight for a snug fit. The problem is it's gonna be a pain in the ass to actually get these uh, crush washers in there and for them to stay in there without falling out. So that's gonna be the pain. I'm gonna try and get most of this on and going. And uh, by the time Chris gets here, he can help with whatever. But right now I need to figure out 
how to keep these in here. So guys, I tried to kind of friction fit or fit the uh, crush gaskets back in there. There was an, uh, some sort of sticky lubricant of some sort that kind of holds them in there. It still wasn't enough. Every time I went to go try and put the header on there, they just would slowly start falling in, falling out. So I ended up using this high temp grease that I forgot I had. It's a full tube. Um, I'll show you how much I used here. That's all you need and just stick it up in there, twist it slightly to kind of just bind a little bit and hold and it worked perfectly. They didn't fall out once and it makes the job a lot easier. And that, that's sticking on there. If you stick it just by sticking it on there and twisting it with a little bit of friction. I'm gonna cut the camera. I'm gonna get all this on as much as I can because this is gonna be a lot of footage and it's gonna take a long time possibly for me um because i get i get pissed pretty easily i'm just gonna get done what i can and then i'll cut to it being on so we'll just go ahead and do that so i can save some battery some storage and uh focus on getting this done all right guys so it's day two i started it last night on my own i was gonna wait for chris but i came across just some slight issues nothing wrong with the fitment nothing wrong with the exhaust itself but I do want to point out that uh, the space in between the two pipes on the header is like a millimeter off so when you get it it looks as if it's not going to fit at all and you might start thinking that uh, it's not meant for this bike or maybe it's the wrong size or wrong pipe it's not it will fit I actually started with the left side uh, exhaust pipe out and I got that on and then it was easy to actually just push the whole exhaust this way and then push it up on to the other side and then I got that tightened down when I needed to. Another thing is, let's see, was there anything else? Um, it sounds great. I'm gonna throw up a clip of that here soon. Um, it just got really light last night, so I didn't finish uh, videoing it or after or first start. I mean, none of that stuff. I didn't didn't do any of that. I literally just took it out to uh, a big lot over here by my house and uh, had Chris write it for me. modifying the Elantra in line a little bit more. So I've been busy with the car also. I haven't been just uh, working on the bike here. I've been, I've been busy with that right there. So um, I have some plans to get a water meth kit. Uh, I'm gonna get the updated JB4 with the updated connectors on it or upgraded, updated. I guess both words work. But yeah, we're gonna get that um, going. I think some tint on it as well and uh, just get it running a little bit better and have some videos with that too. But yeah, guys, I think that's gonna be it for this video. You know what to do, stay safe, ride safe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.